Hey guys, it's Sami again here today uh, from Netherlands and let's check it out uh, without further ado let's check it out what we want to do uh, as you follow that yesterday we have made it just a simple program to get to get the price to 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 react with our endpoint and get result you see uh, okay you can see uh, other video to to understand what I'm talking about and now guys uh, this is uh, just uh, what we get just uh, let me let me do like this let me clean it what we want to do <coughs> okay just um i'm connecting to the server and i'm getting uh, the price the price of the bitcoin at the time is this let's check it out uh, here with other words uh, we get live data from our endpoint and that's in this case Binance and it can be also Kraken and yeah it's just about uh, uh, talking about endpoint and it's just API just talking to a server and now guys uh, how we are be able to to break this uh, JSON notation of JSON uh, a string to for example to two java object i want to have two java object but uh, take a look here we have we have i want to show you something we have uh, java in java split java split text uh, for example i'm saying how to split text in java just i want to show you some case and this is and that's really a uh, easy one but what you get you are going to break a text to to a small pieces and that's what not i want because a cleanest way in java to do that cleanest way to job in java to do that is like that we have to make a separate class for that and I'm talking about software engineering on the data the data what what is coming and now just just uh, let's begin it and take a look here I know for sure uh, I have a symbol and price and what I'm doing I am going here and just I'm making a class uh, uh, I don't know tracker okay tracker for example uh, I'm making this class and here I'm saying okay uh, here uh, uh, I'm go I'm making private here uh, just we, want, we are talking about object oriented and just clean way to coding okay and that's uh, in this case uh, public string and the name is symbol I make variable like you are be able also to name it what you want but because it's just all about uh, educational purposes uh, that's why we are taking it so easy okay other one that's a price that's an integer okay uh, but let's take it as i want to program for myself <laughs> and that's why uh, this is the way when i'm programming for myself let's continue and and otherwise is price okay and here just i'm saying to intellij hey intellij just generate for me a uh, getter and setter here and just uh, I do nothing just right click IntelliJ does all everything and here just give me a two string and this is a simple Java class as you know okay and now uh, let's back let's back to to, to our class <coughs> 
and take it. Uh, before that, let me say you uh, what is JSON. Just uh, a small introduction about JSON and what uh, type are uh, JSON format type. There are two types. Uh, there are initial uh, uh, JSON format and processed. Let's find JSON initial object. Okay, and the differences between those is that you see rare uh, backslashes and slashes. Uh, let me see if I'm finding that. Oh yeah, here, here, wait, wait, wait. Take a look here. I have here a JSON notation. It's a block. Okay, and take a look here. Uh, this is initial JSON format. It's mean. It's not processed. This is the type of data when you get it from server. Just like this, what you see here. As you see here, take a look. This is the same because json format uh, look this is what we get from data okay and let's take a look here what's this that let's take a look here uh, this is look what we got here we have three extra uh, codes this is what you should use uh, uh, because you get error there uh, and other one you see a slash and backslashes on it and it's processed uh, JSON format type. Uh, let's see, JSON uh, processed JSON JSON object example. Okay. Uh, how do you process JSON? I need that JSON with backslashes. Let's see. JSON pro JSON processed. How I'm funding that? I saw it somewhere, boy. Uh, oh yeah, here. <laughs> Look, this is also uh, other J JSON format. Take a look here. Uh, what I'm saying, I'm saying here, just, uh, I don't need you anymore, and just, this is empty class, huh? This is empty, just, just main class and empty class. Look, this is, this is a, a processed uh, notation of JSON, and this is, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. Guys, uh, take a look here. And this is also other JSON format. You see differences? This is the backslashes and slashes those things. But... I don't like to work with this because this is the JSON format what we get uh, like uh, like like uh, like uh, like our application here take a look exact the same and now cleanest way cleanest way is like this I'm making now here look uh, we have to make uh, we have to make a match uh, a magic work. <laughs> we have to do a magic work, and that's uh, n I'm not doing that. Jason is going to do that. For that thing, I'm saying okay tracker. I'm saying tracker. I want to say tracker. I'm saying okay. This is data, and that's just new Jason. New JSON from JSON, and that's just uh, just syntax, just standard syntax. And here, here I'm going, I'm going to pass just 
json and my class and that's just uh, price price or oh, tracker that is tracker see tracker dot class I'm saying okay that's the case and here and now and here just a south how see uh, it's it's a type of I'm in, I'm I'm making an object of my uh, tracker class but in the mix of uh, a JSON and take a look here and now I'm saying data because I want to access to that class I'm using here data dot and with the dot I'm getting the symbol here and it's out uh, data dot get price okay uh, let's see Java text block are not supported in source 8 use source 15 or higher okay yes I'm coming here to project structure I'm saying here uh, give me uh, let's first see which which one I have here in my uh, setting Java compiler here give me for 15 okay and here in my project structure give me also 15 text block oh yeah text block are not supported in all the versions because this is just really made it easy for us to use take a look and now see i get two two separate object of a of a json notation and imagine that and now I don't want you to print for me wait do you know what I'm doing I said okay uh, we are saying if for example uh, data I'm saying take a look uh, I'm saying a string uh, symbol is equal to data dot get symbol I'm using just symbol right now a string uh, price uh, is equal to data dot get price like this okay and I say here if uh, if for example I'm saying if price is smaller than for example 50,000 Huh? I'm saying if the price of Bitcoin is smaller than 50,000 US dollars and what you doing for me just now I want to say when the price is below than 5,000 you are going to buy for me 1,000 euros of Bitcoins and we, what we need we need other endpoint now but because we are getting at that stage also later but I'm saying okay if the price is uh, smaller than 50,000 just for example uh, I am able to say okay it's out or oh, for example huh it's time to buy or I uh, uh, what do you say damn it okay no problem I'm going to cast you to cast you <laughs> okay mm, okay uh, what I'm doing now I'm saying price price is a string and we have we have two options or here I'm changing it to the to to an int that's the uh, beautiful one int and now here why you didn't change it automatically for me uh, set and now what I, I, I have here setter uh, getter give me setter getter give me <laughs> Okay, uh, setter and getter, and here 
uh, okay and now here I say int uh, price is equal to data dot get price and now I say if price smaller than five thousand we solve our problem and now for example oh for example summy is time to buy or I am be able here to record a sound here and when that happened just is going to 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 warn me for example but the point of this video was this to understand how we are be able to 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 break a, a JSON object that is coming from data raw data this is what we we, we say it's raw data sometimes it's really uh, messy not not human friend friendly and that's why uh, so like this I am be able to to take out the data what I want I am be able here to say for example I want only I need only price because I want to work with price and because this is really necessary to understand this for next incoming part because we wanted to make uh, make it uh, beautiful and just uh, just something good okay uh, this is the first one you have to understand because if you take a look this is a simple one and maybe you get data with uh, 50 20 and and one more thing one more thing you see here uh, we are we are now here say this is our JSON string but actually what we what we have to do what we have to do and we, we are going to do is this uh, we don't like to put manually here and that's why we have to make a mechanism here to take data from here and put it automatically here because it's going to change second after second okay and then we are going to use uh, auto refresh and thread sleep and and those things okay but for this video uh, this is the point how we getting more objects of a JSON in Java okay guys uh, it's uh, it's okay for now I'm uh, I'm going to upload this and I see you in in the next video guys uh, just wait wait <laughs> Good point, bro. Expect an int, but there was uh, at the line. Okay, it say when, for example, you are really bad, friend. You have to to imagine that's the machine, <laughs> or we have to say else, else nothing. Java line number format exception. It's just an integer. What's that? Surprise. It's just, for example, uh, this is the right one or not? Oh, here. Oh, that's long, huh? That's not integer. That's uh, that's long, I think. Yeah. Okay, I uh, we are I have to stop it right now, but that's long actually. That's not an integer. We are changing it uh, in the next video. Okay, I'm going to upload it right now and see you next video.